Welcome back guys um, and now we will be looking at doing the transitions using Barber. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and search for Barber.js and this will take us to barberjs.org um, and now we want to download the files so we are going to go to github here and we are going to click clone or download and download the zip file and once that's downloaded we can go to our downloads folder wherever that is um, downloads there we go okay and then we want to open that uh, and then we want to go to dist folder and we want to find the barber.min.js okay and then what we're going to do is we are going to find our transitions folder that we our main folder and we are going to copy this into the vendor folder so js vendor and then copy barber.min.js into that or you don't have to copy you can paste whatever okay um and so that's that in there now and then we're going to go back to barber.js and we're going to go to installation uh, we're going to be uh, including the script in our page so we want to copy this come back to our text editor and then above our main js we want to paste this and we need to find it so we're going to go js forward slash vendor forward slash barber dot min dot js okay um, so that's that in there and we need to do this on every page and um, normally this would obviously be in your header or your footer but because we're doing it statically like this we need to include it into every page so we're going to again go to page 2.html and we're going to put that in there and then we're going to go to page 3.html and above there so now we should have them all pasted in to our html files yeah that, that's looking good okay now we need to go back to barber and barber.js needs to know a little bit about your dom structure by default it uses this markup structure in your pages so what we're going to do now is we're going to copy this actually we can copy yeah let's copy it all let's make, keep it simple so we're going to copy this we are going to come back into let's get to start with our index first and then everything that we want to transition we need to wrap it in these barber wrapper and barber container so let's remove that and then we can remove these and then we need to close it off again down here so we come back down here and we close off that div and we've got two we've got to close off the wrapper and the container so there we go so that's page one done that's our index done um, we need to do the same on page two so again everything that we want to transition we put into here so again we will need to remove these two and we need to wrap close up these wrappers again div and again div okay so that's that one and then we need to go to page three and the same again remove these two we can get rid of this and again let's close off these div and one more uh, div okay right okay so that's now that's everything we've got inside of our barber wrappers let's now go back to barber.js barberjs.org and go click on transition now the lovely people at barber have given us this example so if we scroll down and we want to copy all of this copy and then we want to open i'm going to vertically split my screen 
our JS, our main.js file, and then we paste that into the main.js file, and then give it a save. Okay, so that I think should work now. Let's just see, let's give it a little test. So if we come back up here, this is page three. We were on page three. This is page two. Why are you not working? Let's have a look. We are not getting the transitions that we need. And why is that? Uh, Main.js, we've got a barber. Script source. Do, 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 do. Why are you not working? We've got main.js here. Main.js, everything's. Oh, right. Okay. So I remember. Sorry, guys. So we need to come back to Barber.js. And if we go home, uh, how it works. No, installation. Sorry. Uh, we need to make the DOM ready. So we need to copy this in installation. Barber, PJAX, start. Scroll to the bottom paste and now let's give it a go and hopefully it should transition so page one page two and page three and I've just noticed let's go back to page two and we can remove this let's, uh, go back to our browser and here we go so let's go to page one so we've got page one here and you can see when we click on page two our url changes and we get that nice smooth transition page one page two page three and uh yeah so that is basically the beginning of the transitions so it's pretty simple it's actually pretty simple to do um in our next episode we are in, our, in the next tutorial we are going to be looking at doing the um like the screen swipes um so we uh for that we're going to be using gsap so um yeah join me for the next one and uh thanks for watching this one cheers guys